out and everything, whatever she says, always brings about family. That's the USP. I'm really excited for her. Trust me. Can I work with you? Guys, Lerato almost strangled Lima because of Papa Ghost. The way she handled Lima because of Papa Ghost, it was really, really crazy and shocking. What else said about Jerry's sexuality last night really broke the internet and it really caused a whole lot of reaction as, guys, a lot of people reacted to what else said about Jerry's sexuality. Meanwhile, guys, Jerry intentionally and purposefully decided to deal with Liema mercilessly last night as Liema ended up calling Jerid Mandigo, Jerid Mahood, Micro. Anyways, guys, we are in for another interesting hodges that I know you wouldn't want to miss out from any part of. So, if you are new to my channel and you've not subscribed, please, 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 please subscribe to this channel. Click on the notification bell button and do not forget to like this video. Guys, you will not even regret subscribing to this channel and clicking on the notification bell button because I upload multiple videos daily telling you all most of the things happening in Big Brother and Zamzi Season 4 Mansion. So, a lot happened last night. Let's take it back a little bit to the party. During the party, Liema was seen trying to pull Papa Ghost closer. We don't know if she wanted to kiss Papa Ghost or she wanted to flirt with Papa Ghost or she wanted to dance. Guys, we didn't know what... Liema wanted to do with Papa Ghost at that particular point in time. But that did not really go down well with Lerato at all as Lerato almost strangled Liema. Guys, just take a look. <laughs> The look on Mpumi's face while watching Liema do that to Papa Ghost was out of this world. Like she was shocked, she was surprised, like she couldn't even believe it. At that particular point in time, Mpumi, Jerid, and every other person we are around watching and seeing what was going on at that particular point in time. And Lerato almost strangled Liema for trying to pull a stunt on her man, right? Before you now know it, we now saw Jerid and Lerato outside. What were they discussing? Honestly, the music was very, very loud. We couldn't really hear all the things Lerato said to Jerid, but it was as though she was warning Jerid about Liema and the fact that Liema is always up to something. Then she told Jerid to better work with Mpumi. Guys, just pay attention and listen attentively to this particular video. Although at that particular point in time, I don't know what she was telling Jerry to work with Mpumi for. If she was telling Jerry to work with Mpumi as a situation ship or to work with Mpumi that night to carry out a task that would make Lima feel hot. Then we saw Jerry and Mpumi having a conversation with, you know, the music was loud, so we couldn't even figure out or find out what they were discussing, right? Before Jerry now met S. When Jerry met S, guys, they had a conversation. Honestly speaking, I was curious and eager to find out what it was all about, but we couldn't hear what it was all about before they started kissing. Probably it was at that particular point in time that Jerry and S now had an agreement to make Lima jealous and S agreed to that. So I think this was what led to the fight and disagreements that happened between Liema and Jerry during the party. In case you want to find out everything that happened during the party, how the fight started, or guys, just watch my previous video. I think I have done a video about that. So in my previous video, you will get a clearer picture of what happened during the party, Jerry and Liema fight, and you know, almost everything that happened in the party, I did a video about that. So after the party, when they now went inside the house, Jerid and Els, they were now walking. In fact, not Els, you know, Els was just playing along with Jerid. But Jerid was seriously trying to make Lima feel very, very hot and sad as Jerid made sure that Lima, who was sleeping, was awake to witness all the things that was happening. He was just parambulating, walking around the house, making sure that Liema is not really sleeping. She is aware of what was going on. So, 
When Hina discovered that Lima is awake, she is aware of what was going on in the bathroom area. Jared and S had a conversation that people might not like what they are about to do. So why doing whatsoever they want to do that they really need to be respectful about that. And the reason why they wanted to be respectful, honestly speaking, I do not really know. Well, no, people are not going to like it. I know. So let's not do that. So now make it obvious. Mm. I bet. Because you're cooking. Exactly. <clears throat> let's keep it respectable. Hope you all could not see that. It was intentional art by Els and Jerit to get a serious reaction from Lima. So while Jerit and Els were there doing their own thing, Mac Jr. now went to wake Lima up for Lima to wake up and join him in the kitchen. Initially, I think Lima was reluctant about that before Lima now went into the changing area to go and change her clothes to join Mac Jr. When she now went there, she saw Els and Jerit. Honestly speaking, she was just there putting on her clothes. Before you now know it, she started talking to Jared and S, telling Els that, you see, you shouldn't be doing this with Jared. The reason Jared is doing this with you is to make me hot, is to make me this. Yadi, 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 bala, bala, bala. I was just like, Liema, Liema, can you please control yourself at this particular moment? Then Jared wanted to speak at that moment. And Liema just told Jared to shut up and not just say, anything that was when Yemana said Jared has a micro penis smarter than you let me tell you something I'm smarter than you but you're fucking micro dick <laughs> that's what you know they really mad <laughs> at that particular point in time Jared knew that he has accomplished his mission he has gotten what he wanted from Yema but guys why was Lima calling Jared Mandigo micro? If Jared Mandigo is micro, it is still the same this micro Mandigo that is making her to act out of character, which is quite wrong for her to despise something she is fighting for. It is the same Mandigo she is fighting for that she is despising. Honestly speaking, at that point, Jared lost it. Jerry went into the room where she was lying on. They were not having back and forth arguments. Jerry was not telling Liema that he wanted her to feel the same way he felt two weeks ago. Guys, they were having a lot of back and forth. In fact, Liema ended up telling Jared that he won in the game. Well, that winning, I really think we are going to be talking about that in our next video. Let's keep progressing. While Jared and Lieber, we are there having that back and forth, S was in the bathroom area, that is the changing area, calling Jared to come so that they will go and shower together. Yo, there is nothing my eye have not seen. That was how Jared now met S. They went into the bathroom naked. They went into... Yo, nothing. Uh, there is nothing I have not seen in that house. So, because Liema called Jared penis micro, Jared decided not to be respectful with what he wanted to do with S any longer, as he now accelerated, you know, and take it higher a little bit. Now, he went into the bathroom with S, the bath naked, you know, and do their thing. After the bath, they now went to the bed. You know, it was not time for them to do a whole lot. Else was on top, Jared whining, grinding, doing a whole lot of things, trying to, you know, get Jared hard. But ladies and gentlemen, Jared was never hard. Jared never got hard from all the kissing, from all the things, from everything else did to him. And Els was shocked and surprised. And Els said that this is her first time grinding, rubbing, kissing, doing all manner of things to a man, and the man never gets hard. She was not asking Jared, what is his problem? Does he have a problem? If he has a problem, he should open his mouth and say it now. In fact, she ended up asking Jared if he is a gay. Yo! Yo, I really think at that particular point in time, S would be wondering, is it this week, is it this week, Mandigo, that Leoma and Mpumi are fighting for? <laughs> Yo, Salam City have come again, though. Which one is? Week. <laughs> Yo, 
Yo, honestly, her particular point in time, I really cracked up so, so badly. I laughed out loud. I was just like, what sort of... In fact, when S said that, S even stared at the camera to check if camera was on them. Yo, guys, I really need to take a deep breath so that I can, I can continue... <laughs> So that I can continue this video. Like, what sort of question was that? Honestly speaking, I really think that was what could have been going through S mind at that particular point in time. She would just be like, so it is because of this thing that is not rising. That is why I disgrace myself on national television. But one thing I was just asking myself. So, if Jared had had erection, S and Jared would have knocked that night. Ah, there is nothing we cannot see in that. Yo! So, the reason why they did not have sex was because of the fact that Jared Mandigo did not rise. Wonders shall never end. Wonders shall never end. Honestly, I was shocked. I was surprised. I was just like, yo, this is, this is just the height of it. You know, that was how after Els have tried a possible best, things was not working out. They couldn't, you know, graduate to in their stage, which is having sex. They now started having a conversation. Jerry was not telling else why he did what he did, why he liked to revenge, why he is this and that. Well, just of that, let's talk about it in our next video because I think this particular one is now very, very, very long because of how interesting the gist is. This year, I'll be editing this particular video. Go ahead, let me know your thoughts. Subscribe to my channel, click on the notification bell button, and do not forget to like and share this video.